What's up everyone? This is Million Dollar Mutt here again with another video. Uh, today guys, I'm going to tell you guys the top five players at every position on defense. Uh, this is for linebackers and defensive line. Um, I'll do uh, cornerbacks, free safety, strong safeties, and best user sub linebacker in my next video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Also guys, on Twitter, uh, we're giving away a 94 NFL 100 Eric Dickerson. Uh, make sure you go check it out at Twitter, um, at the MD Mutt. Uh, guys, I want to thank everybody, everybody that's, that has subscribed. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, turn on your bell notifications. Uh, that way you're alerted whenever a video is uh, dropped. Um, and also, guys, put a like in the video if you liked it. Uh, anyways, guys, let's get into it. Um, we're going to start off with the uh, left outside linebackers. Uh, and this is my top five. Uh, now, everybody will have their own uh, personal opinion. Uh, this is my personal opinion uh, from the players that I've used. Now, if there's a player that I haven't really used, I will let you guys know. Uh, I'm just going off his stats and what I think he's capable of. Uh, but let's go ahead and put left outside linebacker, guys. And um, I'm going to rank them five through one. I'm going to start off with number five, guys. And number five to me is Jerome Baker. Uh, I do have him on my squad, as you see there, powered up. Um, really good speed, really good acceleration. Tackling is really nice. Play wreck, block shedding. Now, he's more of an outside coverage linebacker. I wouldn't be rushing with him off the edge. Although, he does rush off the edge uh, very well because of his speed. Uh, and with Sprinter, as you see there, plus three uh, speed, plus three acceleration. He's he's just a jet off that edge. Uh, doesn't matter that his power and finesse was so low. He still comes off the edge. I'm sure you guys have put your middle linebackers on the outside uh, when you're rushing, and, and it works pretty good. So he's um he's really good for that fact. Uh, in fact, um, he's very underrated. Uh, number two, guys. Uh, and this might be the shock now. I don't do it off overall. I do want to say that. I do it off uh, players that I played against, uh, players that I played with that, that have been very noticeable on the field whenever I play with them. And number uh, four, guys, uh, in fact, he probably could have been number three, is uh, Khalil Mack. Uh, Khalil Mack is still a beast. Um, uh, let me show him powered up. I do have him here somewhere. There he is there. Um Guys, he has 88 speed, now 91 with Sprinter, acceleration 89, strength 89, tackling 90, play rec 96, block shed in 92, power move 95, finesse move 91. Guys, this is this is still a, a great card. Um, he plays a lot better than these 97s that are out, um, 96s. I mean, he's, um, uh, you know, a 95, 96 powered up, and he's still a beast on the field. Uh, I'm sure if you guys played against him or you have him, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, but yeah, guys, he's still um, he's still a really good card. Uh, hopefully, he gets an upgrade. I don't think he's gonna get an upgrade anytime soon. Uh, maybe like uh, maybe in the positional hero, something like that, player spotlight, something like that. I can see him getting a, like a 98, 99 overall. Uh, and then number three, guys, it's gonna be um, Kevin Green right here. Kevin Green. Uh, Kevin Green is a good card. His only uh, downfall is his block shedding. Uh, let me show him powered up. Um, I mean, if his block shedding was higher, he'll be ranked higher. Uh, but his speed is really good. Acceleration is good. Strength is good. Tackling is fair. Play rec, uh, not bad. Uh, block shedding is, is slower than, than what I would like. Uh, power move 95, finesse move 99. A really good card. I haven't ranked as number three. And then I have, um, I got TJ Watt at number two. Uh, believe it or not, TJ Watt is still a beast. I mean, he's very comparable to Kevin Green. Uh, the only reason I got uh, TJ Watt hires is because of his block shedding. Uh, that block shedding to me is very important, especially when a lot of people are running that outside stretch or running outside. Uh, to me, that's uh, very important. But you can see there his stats, 87 speed, 92 acceleration, 81 strength, 89 tackling, play rec 97, which I like, block shedding 91. Uh, power move 83 and finesse move 99. Uh, now, if you see the trend here, block shedding to me is uh, is very important, uh, especially in a game where, where people run a lot. So I just want to throw that out there. And then number one, guys, it's going to be a surprise to a lot of people. 
But I'm going to tell you something. Shaquille Barrett. Guys, if you haven't tried this card or played against him, if you played against him, you know what I'm talking about. This card is so underrated. I have him powered up, as you can see there. I got him on my Broncos theme team. But this guy, I mean, he's been making a lot of plays for me. Uh, 88 speed, powered up, and I need three acceleration, which is really nice to get off that edge. Um, you know, 91 speed with sprinter. Uh, strength is low, uh, but, you know, strength, I wonder if it really matters sometimes. You know, I, I don't, you know, I'm starting to hear that a strength is just, uh, uh, you know, it's not really, uh, how would I say it, a, uh, a thing that's really, you know, pliable when, when players are playing. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's true. But anyways, tackling 95, play rec 93, block shedding 95. So from what I uh, know, I could be someone higher, from the left outside linebacker, he's the highest block shedder there is. Uh, he does get, um, uh, I think, run stopper or outside, um, you know, the ability to stop the run outside, which works great on him. Power move is 80. Finesse move is 98. Um, really nice card. Uh, very underrated um, agility 89 powered up uh, but um, I really like this card a lot he's played good for me I got him as number one at the moment um, now guys let's go to um, right outside linebacker um, and we're gonna start off with number five number five to me guys is right here Shaq Thompson uh, he's ranked five for me um, I do have him powered up. You can see there. Uh, he has 89 speed, 90 acceleration. Really nice. Strength is 79. Get that up with um, Brawler. Uh, tackling is 99. Play rec is 96. Um, block shedding is 92. Power move 59 and finesse move 68. Now, uh, he's more of a uh, coverage uh, linebacker. His speed is really nice, though. He can still get off that edge, as I stated before. Uh, but you can see there, zone 73, man 68. I mean... Really low, but not bad um, for a, for a linebacker. I mean, he's he's fifth to me. Um, and then number four guys is gonna be, um, believe it or not, it's gonna be. Uh, you know, he's a lower overall, but um, I haven't played with him. I played against him. It's a uh, Joey Porter. Uh, Joey Porter here, guys. It's a very underrated card. I don't have him powered up, so I can't show that. I don't have him on my team, like I said. But you can see there his stats. I mean, you can't compare him to Clowney. Clowney's a beast. Uh, but compared to Fred Warner, I mean, he's, he's a he's a budget card. Uh, goes for around you know 120 around there. 88 speed powered up. 89 acceleration. 91 strength. 93 tackling. 92 play rec. 90 block shedding. 93 power move. 86 finesse move. Yeah, really nice card. I mean, for being a 95 overall, if you're looking for a good right outside linebacker around 120, uh, that's your guy right there. He also gets times three Steelers chemistry, uh, which is really nice if you're uh, rocking a theme team. Um, and then, guys, uh, number three, and he could be—he could even be ranked number two, even though he's the lowest overall I have ranked here. Um, it, it's Lawrence Taylor, guys. Uh, Lawrence Taylor still to me is—I uh, mean, he's still up there. He's still one of the best right outside linebackers. Uh, you can see him there. Um, he'll have 89 speed powered up. I do have him powered up. Let me show that. That will look a lot better. Let me see here. Um, Lawrence Taylor, he has 89 speed, 92 acceleration, 90 strength, 91 tackling, uh, 88 play rec, 91 block shedding, 93 power move, uh, 92 finesse move. I mean, this guy, uh, even now, but when he gets his ultimate legend, I mean, this guy's going to be a maniac on that field. He's going to be running everywhere. Um, you know, chasing people down, uh, being a headache to the quarterback. Uh, but anyways, um, this card here is still, I mean, he could have even been number two. I got him as number three. Uh, the only reason I got him number three is because uh, who I got number two, uh, he's, he's been playing pretty well for me, is uh, Fred Warner. Uh, Fred Warner, I got ranked number two. Uh, his speed is uh, 90 powered up. You can see there, 95 acceleration, which is really nice. Uh, strength is 80, tackling 95, play rec 93, block shedding is 89, power move 61, finesse move 69. He as well is more of a coverage guy, but he can rush as well, you know, in the 3-4 defense. Uh, still plays very well. Uh, man 80 and zone is 87, so really nice coverage. Uh, probably one of the 
top uh, coverage linebackers there is right now, right outside linebacker uh, that there is. And then, guys, uh, we go to uh, middle linebacker. Uh, middle linebacker um, is uh, th there's a lot of like middle linebackers that are pretty much got the same attributes. Um, I'm going to start off with number five. And number five to me is, um, where is he? Is Deion Jones, guys. Now, keep in mind, this guy is not a run stopper. Now, I'm not ranking, just so you know, um, Ryan Shazier here. It's Ryan Shazier, uh, the team captain uh, token. I'm not doing any team captains, just in case somebody didn't pick that as the team captain. Uh, but Ryan Shazier will be uh, probably about uh, 1A, 1B. Uh, he's he's up there. He's uh, he's probably one of the best linebackers in the game. Uh, good user as well. So I'm not ranking him in here. I'm just ranking players you could buy in the auction house. Uh, Deion uh, Jones. Uh, you can see there his speed. Uh, that's why I have him over here. He has he gets 92 uh, powered up. I think I got him in here somewhere. Where, there he is. 92 speed. Uh, 93 acceleration. Um, strength is 75. Tackling 95. Play rec 95. Uh, now, his hit power is 90, which is good. His zone coverage is 92. And that's one of the main reasons I got him here. Uh, to me, that's really, really nice. Um, he, you know, he's more of a coverage guy. I mean, you don't, he's not really going to stop the run for you. Uh, but coverage-wise, uh, he's uh, one of the best uh, linebackers in the game. Um, you know, it was a toss-up, just so you know, between him and Devin White. Uh, to me, Devin White is a really good card, really good budget card. Um, I mean... You could put these guys, you can see him there on the right. His speed is 97 with Sprinter. Uh, you could put these guys um, 1A, 1B. In fact, let's do it that way. Uh, Devin White, Deion Jones, I got them pretty much the same. If you want that extra speed, Devin White. If you want that extra coverage, you got Deion Jones. Uh, your choice there. And then, guys, number four uh, to me is going to be um, right here, Brian Erlacher. He's not the uh, highest overall linebacker, but... He's still a really good uh, linebacker. Uh, let me show you him powered up so you see him here. Uh, he has 91 speed, 91 acceleration. I mean, this guy's just all around really good for everything. Uh, strength 88, tackling 96, play rec 95, block shedding 90, po hit power 92, and zone is 91. Now, he's 6'4", um, so he's pretty much one of the tallest linebackers in the game. Him and I believe... Um, uh, I can't think of his name now. Uh, Trey uh, Tremaine Hedman, uh, Edmonds, I believe, Buffalo Bills. Uh, but yeah, Brian Urlacher, his uh, height is really good. Uh, really good player. Uh, I think I'm not sure if he's going to get an upgrade again. He got a 96 Ultimate Legend. Uh, but still, uh, I played against some really good uh, linebacker. Uh, plays very well. Um, number three guys is, um, and he's still uh, one of the best linebackers in the game. Uh, his card came out in Christmas is uh, Patrick Willis. Uh, Patrick Willis is still a, a great card. Uh, let me show you him powered up. There he is there. Um, 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 90 strength, 94 tackling, play rec 94, block shedding 91, hit power is 95, and zone is 80. Still a really good card, you know, really good run stopper if you're looking for a linebacker with a good run stopping abilities. Um, and then, guys, number two, uh, he's a newer card. Uh, the only reason I don't got him number one is because of his speed. Uh, but right here, guys, w Willie Lanier. Uh, Willie Lanier, he got 91 speed, 91 acceleration. I mean, I wish the speed was just maybe two points more higher, especially at this time of the uh, year uh, for a 98 overall card. Uh, got strength 90, tackling 97, play rec 98, block shedding 98, hit power 98, and zone is 84. I mean, a card like this, you just let him run around the field, you know, stop those runs for you. You don't really want to use him because of his speed, even though he does start off with the activated ability, uh, superstar ability. He is an NFL 100 player. And then, guys, number one, you know, probably no surprise to a lot of you guys is Ray Lewis, guys. He's still, um, he just, I mean, when you play against him, uh, you know he's on that field. I've said it before. Uh, he's just uh, uh, running wild out there. Uh, 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 92 strength, 98 tackling, 98 play rec, 94 block shedding, 98 hit power, and uh, zone coverage of 73. I mean, when you're running the ball and you see him on the, either the right or the left, you know, you try to run the ball the other way. Let's be uh, real with that. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a big hitter, uh, creates a lot of fumbles. And then, guys, I'm going to go to uh, defensive tackles. Um, 
for DTs, um, DTs, uh, I put them, um, you know, write them five through one. And uh, who I got number five is, uh, where is he at? I will say this. It was a toss-up between two people. I went with Fletcher Cox. Uh, to me, Fletcher Cox um, is really nice. Uh, plays very well. Where is he? I got him powered up there. 81 speed, 88 acceleration, 97 strength, 94 tackling, 94 play rec, 87 block shed. That's the only part I didn't like, that his block shed is kind of low. Uh, 80, 97 power move and 76 finesse move. Uh, he plays a lot better than his stats. He's made some uh, good plays for me. It was a toss-up, just so you know, between him and DeForest Buckner. Uh, the only reason I went with Fletcher Cox because of that extra speed and the um, the power move, as you see there, which is good for the run stuffing. Um, number four, guys, uh, it might come as a surprise. I mean, he's a lower overall card. Uh, still plays very well. Um, when he gets his ultimate legend, he, he's going to be really good as well. It's John Randall. I mean, if you guys ever really looked at his stats, I'll show you here. Um, where is he? He's powered up here somewhere. There he is there. I mean, look at those stats, guys. 81 speed, 90 acceleration, 91 strength, 89 tackling, 92 play rec, 92 block shed, power move 91, and finesse move 96. I mean, when you talk about balanced DT, this guy has it all. I mean, when he gets his ultimate legend, if it's a 98 or 99, I mean, add plus three to those stats on average. You're looking at a, at a car that, that really can do everything for you. He could stop the run and rush the quarterback. Uh, so that's a really nice one there. And then, guys, uh, number three. That was number four. Did I say number three? That was number four. Number three is going to be... Um, now, this guy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. When I first used him in gameplay, he was nowhere to be found. Uh, I do want to say that. I don't know if there's one on the auction block. I don't see one, so we're going to have to do this another way. Um, this guy was nowhere to be found. I think, I don't know if EA fixed him or something. Uh, he, he played. He's played a lot better for me as of late, and that's Alan Page. You can see right there on the right. Uh, now, he's a limited. Uh, I got my power-up pass on him, 97 power-up pass. Uh, he's at 85 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 strength, 94 tackling, play rec 95, block shedding 93, power move 91, finesse move 96. He's like a, a, a John Randall 2.0 at the moment uh, because John Randall only has a 95. You can see there he's very um, balanced as well, very well balanced. Look at all those stats. They're, they're pretty much over 90. The only thing is the speed. Uh, so really nice card there. He has been playing better as of late. Uh, so they, they must have fixed him or something because I can notice him a lot more. And then, guys, a Nero one that's out. Um, now, he's the uh, highest overall DT, but I don't got him as number one. That's... Um, Mean Joe Green. Uh, mean Joe Green, uh, uh, he's pretty, um, there he is, powered up. He gets 81 acceleration, 86, I'm sorry, 81 speed, 86 acceleration, 98 strength, 95 tackling, 93 play rec, 99 block shedding, 96 power move, and 82 finesse move. Uh, this is a really nice card. Now, he starts also uh, with the superstar ability activated, as um, any NFL 100 uh, does. Uh, now, he does get four abilities. Um, which uh, that's new now. Uh, they did that on Friday. EA did last Friday. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Any 98 uh, powered up that goes to 99 or any 99 gets four superstar abilities if you guys weren't aware about that. And then, guys, num uh, number one on the list, uh, and he was probably one of the first ones that came out, Ultimate Legend, guys, uh, DT, is uh, Warren Sapp. Uh, Warren Sapp is, I mean, he plays, he just plays so good. Uh, very noticeable. Um, very good run stopper. He gets up to the quarterback as well. His acceleration is just crazy. 94 acceleration. Uh, 81 speed. 94 strength. 90 tackling. Play rec 96. Block shedding 96. Power move 96. And finesse move 94. I mean, I mean, just look at the card, guys. You could tell there by the stats. But but just him in gameplay, he just plays so much um, better than what, than, than what these stats show. And for the big, uh, you know, he's a big size guy. Uh, he, he moves very well. He does move very well, guys. And guys, um, that gets me to right and left end. I know this video is going on kind of long, but I know a lot of people uh, were looking for this information. Uh, now, with left end and right end, I put them all together. Uh, I'm not going to uh, separate them between left end and right end because each, uh, you can put them at different sides of the ball and they're going to play the same. Uh, you know, left end, right end, is no difference, really. Um, number five, guys, that I have, guys, um, it's the... Um, 
Now, I want to say this. I want to throw this in there. I, I do, On this one, I have a, a number six as well. Uh, let me start off by uh, saying the number six. And the reason being is he, he's a low overall card. He's probably been forgotten, uh, but he's going to get a, a, a ultimate legend soon. Is he? Uh, I think he's right in. He's right in, yeah. So, where is he at? Right here, guys. Bruce Smith. Have you guys ever really looked at this guy's stats, guys? L I mean, l l let me show you here. I got him powered. Oh, there he is. I mean, this guy got 82 speed, 90 acceleration. Now, keep in mind, this is a 95 overall card powered up to a 96. 93 play rec, 94 block shedding, power move 96, and finesse move 91. Now, that one I just wanted to throw in there as number six. I just had to put him in there because he's still a really good card. Uh, but number uh, five, guys, I got the, uh, the Bosa brothers, guys. Uh, you could go with either or. Uh, Nick Bosa or um, Joey Bosa. Um, to be honest, Nick Bosa has played very well for me. Um, he has played very well. I, I talked about it in a video before. Uh, but Nick Bosa, he's also uh, really good as well. You can see there his stats. Uh, really nice. You know, he's more of a pass rusher, uh, you know, something like that. So you can see him there powered up. Uh, but really nice card. I mean, he, he looks really nice. Uh, you can see there his stats. Just pause it if you want to see it. I don't want the video to be too long. And then I'll show his brother. His brother's a left end. Um, his brother's really, uh, re really, uh, really nice card. I like playing. Uh, there he is. There. There's only one up. Uh, this card here is really, really underrated. Um, really nice card. You can see there his stats. Pause it if you want to look at it. Uh, guys, we'll go to number four. Number four is Calais Campbell. I mean, hands down, guys. This guy. You could put him as rush DT. Uh, you could have him there as a right end, left end. Uh, especially if you're running a um, like a three three five or something, really good to stop the run. Uh, you can see there he has 96 strength, 97 tackling, 99 play rec, 98 block shedding, 95 power move, 91 finesse move. When you talk about a balanced card, he has it all. His speed is the only thing, but you're not going to use him as a spy. Uh, that I'll show you uh, who I got for that one coming up. Uh, but this guy here can stop the run. He can rush the quarterback. He can do it all. He was a very overpowered card when he came out. He was ahead of his uh, time when that card came out for the NFL honors. Or better yet, the uh, team of the year. And then, guys, number three, uh, right there, Demarcus Lawrence, guys. A really good card. Still a really nice card. He was uh, very overpowered when his much superstar came out. Uh, he's still very, a um, uh, uh, really nice card. Uh, 83 speed, 91 acceleration, 89 strength, 92 tackling, 98 play rec, 96 block shedding, 94 power move, and 99 finesse move. And then, guys, uh, number two, right there, guys, Julius Peppers. Now, I said before uh, about a QB spy, this is the kind of guy that you could put, he could be on your line, you could put him as a QB spy. Uh, he's he's very good at that, got six foot seven height, uh, not 89 speed, 92 with sprinter. 93 acceleration, 92 strength, 97 tackling, 92 play rec, 90 block shedding, 90 power move, and 96 finesse move. Uh, that's a really nice card, guys. And then, guys, uh, number one, uh, I think he's a right end. Uh, he's still, uh, he, guys, he's still the best end in the game. Uh, he, he, he came out a long time ago. Uh, but right here, guys, it's Aaron Donald. I mean, if you guys have him, you know, I mean... You know, I talk about Calais Campbell, you put him as Rush DT, or, um, where is he at? There he is. You put him as Rush DT, you can put him as uh, right end, left end, same thing in a 3-3-5. He's going to stop the run. He's going going after the quarter uh, quarterback. 85 speed, 92 acceleration, 99 strength, 91 tackling, play rec 96, block shedding 97, power move 98, finesse move 95. I mean, he's just a dominant card. You can see there by his stats, but he also plays the part as well. Um, but... Uh, guys, that was my top five at uh, positions at middle linebacker, right outside linebacker, left outside linebacker, defensive tackle, and right end and left end. Uh, I'll have cornerbacks and free safety, strong safety, and sub linebacker for your users out there uh, in my next video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys um, um, enjoyed it, uh, uh, put a like in the video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all y'all. Have a good day.